This week's epic Western spotlight is to put you in the know about where the Titans will play on Sunday in London. It's known as Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But the big thing is, it is one of the most unique and innovative buildings in the entire world. Here's a look at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium with some explanation on the front end. Let's start with this. It's important to note that when Europeans mention soccer, they say football. When they refer to American football, they'll just say the NFL. And when they say something about a pitch, they're talking about a playing field. Keep all that in mind as we go. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is the home of the Premier League soccer team. Their nickname is the Spurs. So locals refer to the stadium as Spurs Stadium. That's what we'll call it since we're the home team this week. It seats 63,000 and it took 10 years to build from the time that it was first discussed until the time it opened in 2019. Why? Because Spurs Stadium is the first of its kind in the world as it was designed for both Premier League soccer and NFL games in mind. John Babs is the longtime stadium director for the Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. So we have a uh, chairman called Daniel Levy and a very uh, active uh, board of directors who wanted to create the best NFL uh, experience that we could possibly provide. So we went uh, all over America, we visited countless stadiums in America, decided that what we wanted to do was, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it properly, we want to enter into a real partnership with the NFL, put down a, uh, a purpose-built artificial pitch. The only way to put down an artificial pitch and not, uh, not hurt our turf pitch was to be able to move the turf pitch out of the stadium so we can then lay uh, a purpose-built artificial pitch for all the NFL sports. Again, a quick clarification for our audience. The football pitch is the field for the soccer team. The NFL pitch is the field for the NFL. And Spurs Stadium has both. We have three sections which are about 33 meters wide each by 110 meters long. They're effectively three large trains. They run on tracks, they're electric motors, and they, I think each one weighs about 3,000 tons each. It takes us about 25 minutes to roll them out of the stadium and unearth. And the atmosphere for NFL games in Tottenham is outstanding by design. We close the majority of the roads early so we can get a, uh, an extended fan zone around the outside of the stadium. We have a lot of attractions outside. We encourage people to come in early and really enjoy the day. When they're in here, the stadium works actually probably better for the NFL games than it does our own football games because when we hold football games, we have some legislation which stops people drinking alcohol in view of the pitch. For the NFL, that legislation isn't in place. We try to really maximize the space itself. We're really proud of it. Outstanding facility. Wow. It is the official home of the NFL in London through 2029 because of that design. The other thing too, Coach, it has a 65-meter bar the longest bar in all of Europe, and it has a <laughs> brewery that is attached to the stadium. There are a lot of things that go with the stadium. You can, you can do climbs and different things, but it has a 65 meter long bar. I've coached games in Wembley. I've coached games in Twickenham. This is impressive. Oh. This is impressive, and I'm gonna go look at the bar. I am too. Okay, good. We'll go together. We'll go together. We could certainly <laughs> do that. But uh, the Titans excited to play there. Again, to repeat, the Titans are the home team, which is something that's very exciting. A lot of people are going over from this part of the world. Weather forecast right now is mid-50s with a possibility of a little light rain. That can certainly change. I'm told bring a raincoat, bring layers, uh, because it could be kind of windy. Last time we were over there, it was very hot. They call that a soft rain over there. A Mike. soft rain. It's a soft rain. We'll be fine. Is that right? Yeah, we'll be good. How do you know that? I've been over there.